Hey everybody, this is Game Blaster 64 This is episode 6 of From the Top, my Minecraft Let's Play. It's been a little while since I recorded my last vid. Um, Minecraft Beta 1.3 has come out and has also seen a small patch. Um, I had to convert this world to the new save file format when I started. Looks like it's beginning to be day. Yes. Hopefully I don't get uh, my ass kicked though. Maybe there's something out here, I'm not sure. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, I should have known that was going to happen. I see one over there. Oh good, well at least I got the uh, the feathers. Yeah! Alright. Sulfur. Sweet. So, uh, I have to admit, I actually don't have a plan for this episode. I thought, what the hell, I'll just record it. Um, so I guess basically I'm just going to be wandering around. I should probably do some more resource collection, but... Uh, do I have any more... Um, meat? Oh. All right. I need to make a better house. Need to get some doors. I don't have any more meat. Jeez, gotta change that. All right, let's go get some meat, and then we'll get some wood for some doors. First, to get the meat or the door. Sorry, because there's wood right here. So I was having a bit of a uh, pseudo fight with one of my viewers um, about uh, whether or not the creepy sound that plays when you get near. I, I always thought when you get near a cave, or sorry, um, a monster spawner. Uh, and I guess this person is informing me that it's just when you get near a dark area, the creepy sound plays. Um, oh, sweet, look at all that meat over uh, the, all the hide over there. I have to make my way over there and get that too. So, does anybody know what the actual truth is? Like, is it if you find a cave that it will... Um, play the sound like if you're in darkness or is it actually when you find a monster spawner or you're close to a monster spawner whichever is the case because I'd actually like to have a monster spawner if possible um, they're really handy especially when you're starting out because um, uh, you know they give you basically unlimited materials <clears throat> I should probably make a second chest as well but first I'm going to make my house larger because it's a little small don't talk back to me So I am a huge fan of the new save file format. Um, it makes things a lot faster in multiplayer. It's uh, it's amazing how much of a drag the original save file format was, um, and just even backing up like uh, you know it used to take me like an hour to back up 100 megs worth of save file for my server, and. Um, eh, uh, and now it's like just two seconds. It's not two seconds, but it's maybe like a minute and a half just to get like, I think it's about 10 files or something like that. Maybe, maybe 10 to 50 files and they're all like a certain amount of megabytes each, which is way better because previously each file was like one to three kilobytes and it just took forever. I'm going to put some of these torches down, um, around here. I like doing this around trees that are near my spawn because it stops baddies from spawning and also if I guess I'm not that far away from my actual spawn which is on an island um, but it's just handy because I get to see which direction I, I have my base built let's do a quick uh, mowing of the lawn here <clears throat> to get some dirt to expand my house another thing I'd like to do actually is if uh, have a second. I'm going to go chop down another couple of trees and convert my staircase to my underground, you know, floors to um, a ladder, just because it takes up a lot less space. Let's chop this guy down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that the most annoying animals in Minecraft are, without a doubt, cows. Um, they get right in your way all the time, and they're very loud and obnoxious. Um, and every time I feel like I have to destroy them because they're so annoying. 
<laughs> Sweet s'more bacon. Hopefully. Ah, falling damage. Sweet, yes. I have the hardest time hitting chickens. I swear to God, one of these days I'm going to make a compilation video of me just trying to get chickens. Uh, it looks like I have a floating tree here. Let's see if we can fix that. I really just like the look of uh, floating trees, so I always try to get rid of them. It's not such a big deal in single player, but on the multiplayer server, it's always nice to walk into a server that's you know, got perfectly manicured foliage. Okay. Get a bit of gravel here, maybe I can make some flint. Yeah, again, this is uh, this is me going nuts to collect all these crazy material cubes. Oh, on a side note, uh, I heard that Minecraft, or at least some version of Minecraft, is coming to Android and iOS devices. Uh, who else is excited about that? Um, very pumped. I'm a huge fan of the Wii, like the Nintendo Wii. I, I'm on it quite often. I tweet from there sometimes. Uh, and uh, I just browse on the web reading news and stuff. It's actually, I use the component cables. It's actually a pretty good experience on the web if you if you stick to like news sites. If you try to do like YouTube videos and stuff, you're gonna be completely disappointed. But um, anyway, uh, I've seen a few people talking about that and it'd be really great to actually get a version of Minecraft on the Wii. Um, I, I sent a tweet to Notch, but I mean the guy's super busy. He's, he didn't respond, but I don't know if anybody out there besides me <laughs> would like to see that, but uh, I would love to see a Wii Minecraft port. Okay, so uh, I don't have any more of those. So let's uh, let's go in here and make. I need. Oh no, I have it here. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, good. First things first. Let's make uh, a couple more shovels. And then uh, we'll expand this dirt house that I've got here. And cobblestone, perfect. Yeah. I don't have any metal, do I? Oh yeah, I do. I'll do it with cobblestone for now. It's not that important. some of this stuff away just in case I accidentally expire somehow. <clears throat> so I'm feeling much better. My my flu is completely gone and uh, my cough is pretty much non-existent. I still have a little bit of a raspy voice but I think it's just because it's winter. It's freezing here. It's like negative 11 C. Uh, oh sweet. I actually have quite a bit. I could probably make a some TNT. Uh, where are we in terms of day? Well, that's not bad at all, eh? Alright. Okay. Let's make this sucker larger. Now, I'm not normally a huge fan of sticking with dirt. Uh, for a house because if a creeper goes off near it, it's just a complete disaster. But um, for now it'll work. You know, at this point beggars pretty much can't be choosers. <clears throat> Let me get some more here. Oh, I see some coal down there. I'll 
have to run down and grab some. <clears throat> okay. going to make a set of double doors likely wooden actually does that fit no I'll make a single door then just for now so that it fits pretty nicely I'd say I should probably make up some glass to shove in there and I'll make these I'll close this up for now I'm gonna make this end one block larger so that my windows look nice because they're right now they're off by one so I'll have like two blocks that are open at the end I don't like the look of that so Let's just correct that now. That is creepy. Uh, that's probably the scariest one I've ever heard. I've never heard that one before. to go get those guys, but at the same time I know I gotta finish this project before it gets to be too dark. I'll put another door on this side, but for now I just need to close it up. That's not so bad. The trouble with this stuff, unless you've got glass, is um, you open yourself up to attacks from arrows. So. Oh, sweet. How convenient is that? This is the second time that happened. I remember that happened in a previous episode. It's like, they must love, like, dirt. I, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight, and then uh, I'll record another episode right now so that I can upload uh, two of them in succession. But um, that should be good for now. Take care, everybody.